go ahead and show this out first. At the height of the recession, Job Connect in North Las Vegas could barely cope with the number of people looking for work. Things have improved since then, but this city was one of the hardest hit during the financial crisis, and for many, its recovery continues to be painfully slow. Office manager Jessica Hoyt still hears heartbreaking stories every day. We have a lot of people that come in and they're like, I needed a job yesterday. Um, I'm this close to losing my house. I'm homeless. I'm trying to get back on my feet. Um, we do have a lot of people coming in like that, but we do also have people that are having some success. For Elia Vasquez, options are quickly running out. She's been unemployed since December. Her life savings are gone, and in a job market full of young people, she's beginning to lose hope. Pretty much, because I've been applying 100 times probably online. No calls. If they call you, as soon as they see you, that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. Las Vegas is a place that's almost entirely dependent on tourism dollars. It is, after all, the entertainment capital of the U.S. It's what made it so vulnerable in the first place, but there are now some indications of a recovery. For thousands, then, the desperate search for work continues, but there are some encouraging signs for the Las Vegas economy. Construction is on its way back, and for the first time, people are moving to the city to take up work. But perhaps more significantly, economists say important lessons have been learned for the future. Las Vegas economist and longtime resident John Restrepo says the place known as Sin City is now heading in the right direction. I'm pretty optimistic that we're finally deciding we need to do, do something different. We need to grow up now. We can't just depend on gaming and hospitality and tourism. We really need to get serious about our educational system and, uh, and uh, how we diversify the economy, make those proper investments. Last year, Las Vegas saw record numbers of visitors and the population here is once again beginning to grow. But the underlying unemployment rate is still high, and this city is set for a long road to recovery. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Las Vegas, Nevada.